All right, hey guys, and welcome back to another MetaZoo video. Today we're going to be doing my first binder update for this channel, which is kind of exciting, and it's going to be exclusively for how my HeroQuest Genesis collection is progressing. What do I have? What am I missing? What are my plans for the future with this? And for those of you that uh, watched my up uh, my video from about a week ago, the MetaZoo Gone Wrong sort of like variety unboxing video. Uh, if you didn't catch that, the thing that went wrong was that I opened up a pack of HeroQuest and I got a really good chase card, but it was damaged due to the CD pressing up into the pack and denting the card, and it was very badly damaged. A lot of you were asking, you know, I said, oh, I'm going to open up more packs off uh, off a of video and see how it goes, and a lot of you were asking for how that went, so I do appreciate your uh, your concern around that matter and I'm going to update you that on that in this video. So what do you say we take a look inside here? This is just temporary. I actually plan on getting a smaller exclusive binder for my hero quest, but for now I'm keeping it in this really pretty uh Cryptid Nation binder. So uh this here Tractor Beam was actually my first ever hero quest card. I po pulled that on an Argo stream when I was first just getting in the MetaZoo as well as the Tech Tite. Um, and then here it is. Here is the culprit from the MetaZoo Gone Wrong video. So I opened this. I was extremely excited. It was the Headless Horseman, you know, not a cheap card by any means. It's like a $67 card. But I immediately noticed something was wrong. And that was, if you notice right here, there is a huge indentation in the card, which protrudes through the back very prominently right there. And that is caused from the inside of the CD tray pressing up into the pack and indenting the card. This is apparently a problem that is not very common, but it does happen, and unfortunately, it happened to me. And uh, I bought a big stack of these CDs from a seller, you know, a bit of, a bit ago, uh, because they were really cheap. This is when HeroQuest hadn't quite taken off to the point where it is now. So in a way, I wasn't super upset because the cards that I did open from these packs definitely, even with the damage, probably exceeds the value of what I paid for the CDs. Uh, the other ones that I opened up, as you can see here. Um, we got the Grafton monster, and then I pulled... Oh, I'm really glad I didn't do this on video, because I pulled what many would consider to be, like, the third biggest chase card from the entire HeroQuest series, which would be, you know, Mothman number one, Hero number two, and then probably Grim Reaper number three. And I was just praying. I was like, please don't be damaged. Please don't be damaged. Sadly, my Grim Reaper was also damaged. Not as bad as Headless Horseman, but if you look right here... You can see it right there. You see the indentation right there. So it's indented. It does protrude through the back. Which you can see. Oh, it's a little hard to see. But you can see it like right about here. Like I said, not as bad as Headless Horseman. But it is just... It, it was a little sad. Uh, um, I did a lot of these out of video because I didn't want to be opening HeroQuest cards and just being bummed about it, right? Like, we're supposed to have fun. We do this because it's a nice, fun hobby. I don't want to portray myself being, like, disappointed opening this stuff up. So I did it off video. Coming back around to it now, what I told myself is, listen, even with that little bit of damage on the Grim Reaper, that card, you know, what I paid for these CDs originally, that card is more than half the value, even probably with the damage on it. So I had to try and find a way to cheer myself up, and I'm not feeling quite as bad about it now. Some time has passed. I've been able to, you know, get over it essentially, and I'm just, I'm still excited for the cards I pulled because it was a nice variety. We got the Hodag, which, um, you know, some of these had some damage, some didn't. We had the, uh, sorry, it's so hard for me to read these. Uh, Isotope, unstable. Thankfully, the unicorn is undamaged. Uh, the unicorn down here, which was one of my favorite cards. This card is. Let me just pull it out for you, for those of you that haven't seen this shit. This is one of my favorite. Oh, by the way, before we get too far in, I do have four more of these that I'm going to be unboxing in this video at the end um, to see what we can pull. It's probably going to be some of the final HeroQuest CDs that I ever opened because they're just too expensive now. So we'll see what we can get. Maybe we'll get that Mothman. But this is just an absolutely beautiful HeroQuest card. One of my favorites. So I was really happy to see that this one was undamaged. And then we have uh, Hodag. Or sorry, not Hodag. Uh, Hugag. Hodag and Hugag. Uh, this is one of my favorite Hero Quest cards, and that is the Green Clawed Monster. I absolutely love this iteration of it. It is slightly damaged, unfortunately. This one is also damaged ever so slightly, but it's also one of my favorite cards, and that is the Biofrequency Blast. I just love the colors in that card. Look at that. Uh, undamaged Woolly Mammoth, I believe it was undamaged at least. Uh, malicious Hardware. 
Mad Gasser and Flatwoods Monster, which thankfully was undamaged because that's a pretty nice one. Uh, we got, oops, sorry, Tizeruk, which is also one of my favorites. Uh, I believe that one had slight indentation. I can't remember. Oh, we had another Hugag in there. Got a double up. Uh, Odd Virus. Another Unstable Isotope. I got a couple doubles. I got also one more Tektite. So if any of you want to, like, not that I'm going to trade, but I, I am in Argus's Discord. So if any of you have Hero Quest cards that you uh, want to trade in Oasis, uh, maybe we can work out a trade, like a bulk trade. You know, hey, you need these three. I need these three kind of equal value. Let's work something out. So for my doubles. Um, Neural Link and Jack Frost. So some of these I bought singles because some people are actually letting go of some of the less desirable hero quest cards very cheaply right now so i kind of filled out some of my collection with that which is kind of like what this final page is here um so yeah i mean i'm very happy with it i've got um what 22 cards right now so not not too bad i mean that's a good start that's like a third of the way through the hero quest collection i'm not sure if i'll ever complete that because some of the cards are extremely hard to get but they're just it's such a beautiful set Yes, yeah, some of them are damaged, like I can show you, I think Hodag was one of them, just to, and this is just good for you to know as well, if any of you plan on getting into Hero Quest, to keep an eye out for this, because it may not be immediately apparent when you first get these to, to check for this. Yeah, so you can see the full dotage pattern there, the four dots, one, two, three, four. So that's the, the you know, the thing on the CD tray that you press in to get the CD out, that is pushing into the card not super noticeable on the front on this one but it is there obviously for it to be protruding out the back like that so hey it is what it is you know i'm not flipping these cards or anything i'm not selling them i didn't even plan on getting them graded really i just kind of wanted to fill out a binder with them because they look really pretty so i got to look at it from that perspective so what do you say that we open up the last four hero quest cds that i have right now and probably unless i can get a killer deal or get really lucky on these or buy singles or something these will probably be the last four packs that i ever open uh, for hero quest so what do you say we bust them open maybe get some cards that i don't have or at least some good doubles for trade bait yeah, i mean it would be crazy if i could pull a mothman or a hero and i'm going to be very careful opening these not to put any pressure even though i don't think it was me when i was opening them i was being very careful I think it just happens in shipping, unfortunately. Um, so you'll be able to tell right away. I don't see any indentations really on the pack, which is good, because that's the first thing that I always look for, indentations on the pack. Okay, I got my scissor this time. Feel where that card is, okay. I'm always so nervous opening these single card hero quest packs. Turn it over on back so we don't spoil what the card is. Okay, let's see, do we have dots? We do not have dots, which is really nice. All right, here we go. Okay, that's one I don't have, that's good. DNA Overload, very nice. You know, not one of the big chase hit cards or anything within Hero Quest, but it is one that I needed. Put that off to the side. And honestly, getting any Hero Quest at this point for the prices that I did pay for these CDs, um, it's pretty much either break even or above the value so it's kind of a win there's almost no cards that are below like the twenty dollar range at this point they're all sort of going for some of them go for 15 if you're patient but at the most part they're all kind of like 20 plus dollar cards average most of them are like 30 or 40 for most of the like beasties and such all right check the positioning of the card Getting a hero, I don't think I'm ever going to get Mothman from this, because I hear that they're a little clumped, Mothman, and maybe hero. Okay, we got no damage, it seems, on that one. And, ooh, okay, nice. okay, that's good. I'll take it, because you know what? That's probably my favorite art in the entire hero quest set. So getting one that isn't damaged, that makes me happy. I love Universal Monsters. I love uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon, so this kind of is reminiscent of that for me. So now I've got one that's undamaged. Finding somebody to trade my other one with, I mean, it's not super crazy bad damage, but, you know, it's going to be a little tough. Maybe I'll do like a two-for-one kind of on those, you know. 
Okay, pack looks good on that. You like the card location. I'd love a Piazza Bird as well. Piazza Bird looks so good in this set. All right. No dents. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho, our luck. Oh, this makes me feel so happy. Oh, my luck has turned around. Okay, I'm going to inspect the heck out of this. Give me a moment. Okay. Sorry if it's not super focused. Oh, man. Perfect. The centering is really nice on this, it seems. Oh, wait. Hold on. You guys see that? Is that how all hero quests? You see this red line around the side? Hold on. Is that? Oh, okay, all right. I got scared there for a second. I thought that was like some kind of like the art was like a little bit off or something. But oh man, perfect. I don't see any indentations on this. So maybe I'll send this one off to get graded at some point and keep the other one in my binder. It's looking pretty good. I can't tell if that's a mark on the back. Is that a mark on the back of the card? You see that there? Is that like maybe a fingerprint for me or something? Oh, hold on, hold on. There's something protruding out of the back right there. You see it? Right there, it's like a little bubble. Don't know if that's from the CB CD being pressed into it. Very hard to tell. I don't see anything on front. If you see anything, let me know. But either way, I mean, this is still... Okay, probably not one that I want to get graded if I'm noticing whatever that was right there. See it? And then whatever... Might be a fingerprint, honestly. I'll have to get a microfiber cloth. Either way, let me get a sleeve for this before we really mark this up. Still, a Grim Reaper? Come on, that's a great way to almost end my hero quest journey. All right, final one. Be crazy to pull Piazza Bird, Sam Sinclair, Mothman, Hero. I mean, I'm not expecting those. Those are just so hard to get. Or anything, honestly, that I just don't have. I, I was kind of hoping that the Grim Reaper would have been the final pack magic. But uh, let's see what we can get from this. I get so nervous when I'm cutting these because I can feel the resistance from like this part of the pack and I think I'm cutting into the card. All right, here we go. Let's check the back first. It does have protrusions slightly in this. You can see it right. I could just never luck out with these things, boy. Let me tell you. There are two very, very light protrusions right there. You can see them. Very light. Watch it be a Mothman. Nope, it's a Mad Gasser. Okay. Well, still, the fact that I got a Grim Reaper that is like probably an 8 out of 10 kind of condition with whatever that was on the back still makes me really happy. And that's, um, that's a good way to kind of end what will probably be the some of the last hero quest packs I ever get from here on out it's going to be singles looking for deals hunting the deals seeing if anybody puts up cheap singles but the, the scary thing about this is you buy these things raw like ungraded somebody may not have a keen eye and they may not see or show or tell about the protrusion damage and that's what makes hero quest such a hard set to collect for um, especially if you're looking for a mint condition I don't care about them being like PSA 10 kind of grades I just want something that is like an eight or nine sort of condition for a binder. If I get any of them graded in the future, okay. But that's what makes it really scary for people that are going for like the full set in PSA 10s or CGC 10s or something. Um, it's it's a little hard to get them in mint condition. And these are from different sellers. This isn't from the same seller. This comes from multiple sources and I'm still getting ones that have these dents in the cards. Thankfully, HeroQuest 2.0 well, it be, will be more mass produced because it's going to have a ton of blisters. Uh, at least it's not going to come with a CD that's going to dent your cards. So there is that. Anyway, guys, there's your update on uh, my MetaZoo uh, Hero Quest Genesis collection and my final polls, at least on the channel, for quite a bit. 
Thank you very much for watching. Let me know how your collection is going for HeroQuest as well. Leave a comment below. How is your percentage completion? How many cards do you need? What ones do you have a Mothman? Do you have a hero? Uh, let me know. I'd be curious. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.